This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday, the 21st of November. Got some showers on the way. Got a cold air shot on the way. A big storm next week before Thanksgiving. So a lot to talk about. Let's go take a look out the window with our SkyCam network this afternoon. First off, coming from Gadsden. Sky there mostly cloudy today. Thicker clouds have been on the eastern side of the state. That's view coming from Parrish in Walker County. The sky mostly cloudy. And up in Haleyville in northwest Alabama's Winston County, the clouds are hanging tough there. Uh, there's a look at the visible satellite view across the state, and you can see it's kind of patchy. Uh, the most uh, sunshine up in the northwestern corner around the shoals, and also from Mobile up to about uh, Demopolis, where they've seen some sunshine today. There's the big picture. We've got a big upper low, big trough developing over California. That's going to push a lot of rain into parts of Arizona, where they will see maybe some flooding issues in the short term. The northern branch of the jet stream is bulging south, and that cold air is coming down the pike, but today numbers are pretty good. We note Auburn sitting at 57 there in that wedge of cooler air over the eastern counties of the state, but most locations are in the 60s, Birmingham at 62 at mid-afternoon. Oh, but yep, you can see what's coming. Very cold air flooding the uh, Great Plains. Look at the pressure gradient over the Texas panhandle. You go up there toward Dalhart, Texas, and they're at freezing. Then you go down toward Lubbock, and they're sitting around 65 to 70. But we'll feel that beginning Saturday afternoon. Uh, we have winter weather advisories in effect for uh, uh, parts of Texas and Oklahoma, Kansas, up into Iowa and Nebraska. Uh, winter storm watches up for parts of the mountains of Colorado and New Mexico. They'll see a lot of snow there, but the eastern half of the nation relatively quiet. Here's the rain for the next five days. Uh, this is suggesting rain amounts of about one to two inches here, and uh, really the heaviest rain is going to be Tuesday of next week. This carries us all the way through Thanksgiving. It's going to be a big gulf storm. We'll take a look at modeling. This is the GFS, the 12Z run, valid at 12 noon tomorrow at 500 millibars. Big upper low just southwest of San Diego. The northern branch showing a trough, an upper high over the gulf. And uh, let's take a look at the old uh, surface chart. You can see we got showers around Memphis, Shreveport, Houston. Colder air moving down into Texas. We'll check the high-res NAM. This will give us a better clue as to who might get the rain and at what time tomorrow. This is at noon, and uh, this is suggesting the better chance of rain will be north of a line from near Reform to Cullman to Scottsboro. There could be a few showers below that, but clearly the, the consistency has been good in this idea that during the day, that's your best chance of rain. Elsewhere, the sky will be mostly cloudy. The day will be mild. We'll be pushing 70 tomorrow. Um, this is tomorrow night at 9 o'clock. Uh, again, a lot of high school football playoff games. And again, you can see showers over about the northern half of the state. Uh, most of the showers that point north of a line from Utah to Clanton and Heflin. But clearly, there could be a few showers around during those high school games tomorrow night, especially from I-20 North. So uh, we recommend you take the rain gear. Let's go into uh, the late night, early morning hours. This is the pre-dawn hours Saturday, 3 a.m. Nice little batch of showers coming through here. And then this is 12 noon on Saturday, still cloudy and uh, kind of showery, damp, a little bit of light rain, some light showers. The rain Saturday, probably not all that heavy or widespread, but clearly a chance it could rain a time or two. So keep that in mind if you'll be outside. And that includes the uh, Alabama UT Chattanooga game. There'll be a chance of light rain or showers during that game, but probably not continuous. And then this is six o'clock tomorrow evening. The uh, showers begin to fade away as drier air works in from the north. Now, the NAM all of a sudden has gotten a little slower with the cold air coming in. This is noon on Saturday, and you know the, what I showed you this morning, it had 40s. Well, now it's got us back in the 50s, even a 62 at Anniston, with the 40s back in Tennessee and North Mississippi. So all of a sudden, uh, we've got a slower look, but the European is colder. This is Saturday evening at 6 o'clock, and it's got uh, temperatures in the 40s here. So we'll kind of delay the onset of the cold air a little bit. Uh, we still think the wind picks up Saturday afternoon. We'll probably reach the uh, you know, mid to upper 50s at midday. Then we fall back in the 40s by late afternoon. And clearly, we'll be in the cold air Sunday. There's no doubt about that. Uh, early Sunday morning, we should be down in the mid-20s. And the high Sunday only in the mid-40s, despite a sunny sky. And we've still got a pretty good little uh, northeast wind blowing. And the wind's going to make it feel colder. But again, Sunday should be bright and sunny, but cold. 
And look at the howling north winds up in the northeast. Here's Monday. We start the day down in the 20s, but clouds will increase as the day rolls on. The high should be in the upper 40s as our wave in the western gulf forms. And Tuesday, again, the model very consistent in the idea of a surface low just below Gulfport in Biloxi, Mississippi, with a big rain mass over Alabama and Mississippi. It still looks like Tuesday is going to be a windy, soaking, wet day. Strong east winds. Uh, of course, the surface low south of here, so no severe weather. It's going to be cool. I think we'll be in the 40s all day. Just kind of a cold, wet, windy day. Rain amounts of about one inch. That'll be a good soaker. Uh, the European on Tuesday, in good agreement. Uh, it's got uh, the surface low maybe a tad north of here, or uh, north of the GFS, but still south of where we are. So Tuesday, windy, wet, cool. Wednesday, a new low begins to form around uh, Cape Fear, North Carolina. And again, that's going to be a pretty nasty coastal storm for them. A lot of wind and rain. And around here, clearly, the model is suggesting in the backwash of the storm, we still have clouds and a chance of some light rain on Wednesday. And remember, this is the busiest travel day of the year. Pick out your destination, see how you're going to fare. Now, that big East Coast storm is going to move northeast, so uh, New York and Boston will probably see deteriorating weather conditions Wednesday night, and that could affect the airports up there. But at least during the day, it looks like the worst of the weather will stay south of the big airports in New York City and Boston. Uh, and again, it's going to be cool and cloudy with a high only in the probably upper 40s or low 50s here. Thanksgiving Day, it's long gone. Uh, should be a brighter day, dry, cool. Uh, we'll start today Thanksgiving morning uh, at or below freezing, the high in the 50s, just the way you like it. Black Friday, where the starts to warm up, we're rain-free, and this is Iron Bowl Saturday. Same deal, uh, looks pretty good. I think a good chance we'll see a high maybe around 60 in Auburn for the game. Uh, and for now, we are not seeing any significant chance of rain on Saturday, the 30th of November. We'll check the end of the forecast. This is the 7th of December. Strong westerly is a little north of here, and the cold air north of here. And if that's right, that would be dry and relatively pleasant. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can, catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream of the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and God bless.